Regular data backups are essential and a fundamental part of security today. The new Ashampoo Backup Pro 26 can now create an easy backup plan for quick data backups in just a few steps. My name is Axel Gherkin, and I'll show you how to use this new feature for your backup plans. Enjoy the process. First, I would like to show you how to create an easy backup plan, allowing you to quickly set up a backup for your data. Then, I'll guide you on how to enhance an existing easy backup plan with additional settings, such as scheduling. First, I'll create a new backup plan. Then, I'll select Easy Backup for a quick, unscheduled backup plan. Now, I'm assigning a name to the backup plan. The more information included in the name, the easier it will be to distinguish between backup plans later. My backup plan will be called Backup Documents. I'll enter that here. The name of the backup plan can also be changed afterwards. I'll demonstrate that later. Additionally, I can choose whether to back up entire disks and volumes, or as in my example, select files and folders to back up a specific folder. Of course, multiple folders and files can be marked for a backup plan. Here, I can now choose what I want to back up. On the right, standard folders are available, and on the left, I can manually select my files and folders. To demonstrate this, I click on Manual File and Folder Selection. Through Add Folder or Add File, I can now make my selection. Everything visible in this window will then be included in the backup plan for safeguarding. With a click on Standard Folders, I return to the starting point. The small number in parentheses clearly indicates that a folder has been marked via Manual File and Folder Selection. However, since I also want to backup my documents in this example, I now check this Standard Folder. With a click on Next, I proceed to the next setting. Here, I set the destination for securing the data. You can choose from various cloud providers or, as in my example, opt to back up the data on an external hard drive. To do this, click on Local or Network. Now select the drive where you want to back up your data. My external hard drive is labeled with the letter E. I select that and click Next. Done. You can now start the backup immediately by selecting Run Plan Now. Alternatively, you can return to the overview where all backup plans are listed. If you want to change the name of a backup plan, for instance, because additional files or folders have been added, you can do so through the Backup and Restore menu and Backup Plans. Simply click on the field with the name of the backup plan to make your changes and press the Enter key to save the new name. You can also adjust a backup plan afterwards and, if necessary, add a schedule or plug and play. I'll demonstrate this with an example by clicking on Actions and then selecting Change Plan. I don't want to change the folder selection, so I'll just click Next. In this setting, you can now use a checkbox to configure plug and play, backup, and a schedule. This way, the backup starts automatically whenever the previously configured external hard drive is connected. Additionally, I recommend selecting the Backup Schedule option. If the external hard drive is not disconnected and reconnected for an extended period, the backup will be performed according to the schedule. Otherwise, the backup would not be executed again. The backup begins approximately one minute after the external hard drive is connected. This time allows the operating system and any antivirus programs to complete all security checks on the newly connected drive. I want the Documents folder to be backed up once a day. I will set it up like this now. If a backup could not be performed because the hard drive was not connected, you can set what should happen here. For my example, I will keep the setting as at the next opportunity. Now, decide what your computer should do once the data backup is complete. We recommend simply accepting the default settings. After the backup, you can generate the relevant reports and set the desired level of detail for these reports. If you wish, you can have the reports sent to you via email. A free Maya Shampoo customer account is required for this.
A Shampoo Backup Pro can notify you directly about any status changes in your backup. Here, you can set the level of notifications you prefer. This setting can be customized for each backup plan individually. The options are Start and End of the Backup Only Errors No Notifications You can now set how long you would like to keep your data backup. The default is 30 days. Click Next to proceed to the summary. In the summary, you can review all the settings for your backup plan again. If you wish to make any changes, you can return to the respective setting by clicking the Back button. By clicking Finish, the backup plan will now be completed. By clicking Back to Main Menu, you will now be directed to the Overview page, where all backup plans are listed. Here, you have the opportunity to not only view the details of the backup plan at a later time, but also make adjustments if necessary. You can also review the backup report to check for any potential errors that may have occurred during the backup process. So, that's it for now. A Shampoo Backup Pro 26 offers more than just an easy backup for your data security. It includes a recovery system that allows you to restore a backup even if your computer won't start. Additionally, the program can check your hard drive and repair it if any unreadable sectors are found. For more features of our backup program and to download it, please see the link below in the description. I wish you always secure data with our program. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any videos. We provide the best information on various programs. Goodbye. See you next time.